Hey guys, hey, we had a viewer ask a question on our quarter sawing video, how we feel we can justify having both the bandsaw and the Lucas mill in our operation. And I just thought it would be easier to do a short video here today instead of sitting down and typing, um, which I'm not very good at. But the two mills complement each other greatly in what we do for our customers. We're a custom mill, they bring in logs, we make lumber for them or slabs for them, or they bring in thick planks that they want to have re-sawn down to thinner stuff. Um, that's where the bandsaw really shines head and shoulders above the Lucas mill in that we had a man bring in some walnut planks that were two and a half inches thick and probably 15 inches wide and he wanted them split down the middle. Perfect thing for this bandsaw to do where the Lucas mill just, in my mind, I cannot figure out a way to make it work and you know, that was a case where this really worked well. Um, the bandsaw handles smaller logs easier than the Lucas mill does. However, you can cut small logs with the Lucas mill if you, if you know what you're doing. It's all, you know, it can be done. Where the Lucas mill shines is we get into the big logs and the bandsaw is limited to about 29 inches in diameter. The Lucas mill, we will regularly get into four, four and a half foot diameter cottonwood logs that we do for a company, for a pallet mill. And it, you know, that's where these big, these swing mills really, really come into their own is in those oversized logs. We've got the slabbing attachment for the Lucas mill, so we can cut slabs up to five feet wide and 20 feet long. The bandsaw, pretty much a slab, it's limited to about 26 inches between these roller guides. We will make slabs with the bandsaw if we can, but we've got the ability with the Lucas mill when we get into the bigger stuff. The other thing, the quarter sawn video we chose to resaw the cants with the bandsaw because when we cut four quarter thick lumber we get one extra board out of that eight by eight cant just because of the less kerf that the bandsaw provides so i will do what i consider high value material as much on the bandsaw as i can and in my book high value is quarter sawn oak walnut, cherry, and um, if we once in a while we get into quarter sawn sycamore. Where it's worth it to bring, you know, we've got to break open the big log on the Lucas mill like you saw in the quarter sawing video. But then we'll bring the cants over here on the bandsaw and get that extra board out of an eight inch thick cant. And that, to me, it adds value. It's um, on the other hand, if it's what I consider low value stuff, white pine, um, ash, cottonwood, spruce, soft maple, we'll cut it on the Lucas mill and suffer the bit of extra kerf just for the speed that we get when we use the Lucas mill. Because the Lucas mill is much faster production than the bandsaw is. The other thing that the Lucas mill is nice for is if we're looking for dimensional lumber, if a guy wants 2x4s or 2x6s and he wants them to match store-bought lumber, in my mind, as I'm figuring out how to break open a log, the Lucas mill is much easier to target certain dimensions. Uh, I know you old dogs that have been cutting for years um, on a circle mill or a bandsaw, your mind works and it's probably just as easy for you to do it on the bandsaw. I started with the Lucas mill and that's what I'm used to producing dimensional lumber with and so that's, that's where I'm at there. But just hope that this um, helps explain why we feel it's good for us to have both mills. Um, Truth be told, if I could only have one, it would be the Lucas because a lot of our income comes from these oversized logs that we've gotten a reputation to be able to handle. So um, 
it's but it's been we've been running that lucas since nineteen ninety eight so we've built up a clientele that knows we're here and able to handle these these big logs but um, it all it all works hand in hand it's all um you know for us it it's it's a good combination of things i um i like the ease of sharpening the lucas mills blade i like challenge of keeping a bandsaw blade tuned up and sharpened and set and flattened and performing um, that's just some, something that um, excites me to take a blade that I've you know run it till it's dull tune it up get it tuned right and it cuts better than new the second time around or after the fifth sharpening it's time to maybe flatten the thing um, so those those things um, you know, it's, it's it's more than just making a pile of sawdust. Some of this stuff has to keep me mentally engaged, and that's um, sometimes it's frustrating, but it's good for me. So I hope that explains why we think we can justify having both mills. And um, if it doesn't suit your um, operation, you need to know that too and, um, and make your choices. So anyway, hope you have a good day and hope this was helpful. Have a good one.